My talk is about a very simple solution that has actually made life easier for many human beings. So what happened is that in the present era, uh, very ever so often, we get carried away, carried away in our pursuits of exploration. We get carried away in our pursuits of technological revolution and the glamour science. But, but in this whole scenario, what we actually neglect is that there are actually simpler inventions and simpler solutions to many problems of this world. And I'm going to talk about one such solution, which also happens to have the word solution in its name. And that's called orally hydration solution. So the message of today's talk is onefold. I want you all to remember one thing when you leave this hall, and that is the simple intervention can be utilized in creative ways to find solutions and scientific breakthroughs. And it's not applicable to only to the field of medicine, it's applicable to any field. So the story starts, I was part of a team, a research team at Johns Hopkins University, and we came up with this new discovery, the use of oral rehydration solution, a simpler remedy to treat the short bowel syndrome, a medical condition. We had a patient, a 27-year-old female, who had multiple diseases of gut, intestines to be more specific. And due to that, we had to, we had to remove a part of her gut, a part of her intestines, and she was, an external bag was actually attached to her body, to her belly, where the intestinal products and waste could be collected. So such patients, they actually get some malabsorption of nutrients and fluid. Malabsorption as in that many, an impaired absorption of water and salts that we take in, and impaired, impaired absorption of nutrients. In medical terminology, we call this condition a short bowel syndrome. So that patient, such patients, they actually have to rely upon intravenous fluids. We have to poke a needle into their body, and we have to continuously give them fluids from outside in order to complete their needs. What's happening there is that because we have removed a part of their bowel, they can't absorb enough nutrients that would actually make up for their body's needs. So such patients, they have to stay in the hospital. They have to be hospitalized for a prolonged period of time. And like for instance, in our case, our patient was admitted in August, and we had to discharge her in November only after we were able to overcome her fluid losses and nutrient losses after introduction of oral rehydration solution. And we could actually take her off the intravenous fluids and send her home. So in order to actually found, figure out, like, and in order to get to our clinical approach, we had to like, go back in time and figure out that what exactly happened in the past that made oral rehydration crucial for success in overcoming the diarrheal diseases. And we figured out that there is a concept that's called coupled transport in which glucose molecule in the intestines help in rapid absorption of water and nutrients, um, sorry, salts, in the human body. So we actually used that phenomena, that mechanism. We actually studied that mechanism, and we substituted. We had similar conditions, so we substituted that thing into our own clinical setting. And the results were very, we had a huge success in that result in terms of results. So technically, or if I actually, for a minute, I ask you to just consider that you are a patient and you go to a doctor with a medical condition and your doctor tells you that your medical condition has two remedies and both of the remedies, they actually gets to the similar conclusion in terms of the therapeutic effects. One is that you have to have an injection for which you have to get a needle poked into your body. And the second one is that you have to take a liquid and you just have to drink it. Of course, like, what would you choose? Majority of you would definitely go for a simpler solution. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, no one, no one actually wants needles to be poked into their body. No one wants pain. That's half of the reasons why people hate doctors. But there is more underlying to it, underlying story to it. Like for instance, prolonged intravenous 
fluids and intravenous nutrients have shown to create other medical problems, which include gallstones, uh, impaired kidney functions, and impaired liver function. And more importantly, the infection of the intravenous line site, which can spread to blood and complicate the clinical course of a patient and eventually cause death for many patients in this world. So such kind of therapy, it's not just high technology, which requires a hospital stay, and many people, like for instance, the nursing staff to take care of such patients, but it's also costly. It also requires a hospital admission. On the other hand, oral rehydration therapy, which is mostly co commonly popular for the diarrheal diseases, it can be used in different contexts as well, beyond diarrhea. So for instance, there has been reports that it could be used to treat the burn victims. And then we demonstrated that it, was, it can be used to treat those patients with sore bowel syndrome. So oral rehydration therapy, if you see in that context, it's cheap and ORS sachet costs like around 20 rupees, about 15 cents. It's readily available. You can go to any pharmacy, a good pharmacy. You can get an ORS sachet from there. And it, it's also, you don't require a hospital visit for this. Uh, sorry, a hospital admission for that. And moreover, it's low technology. Like, you don't require technical expertise or supervision of a medical staff. In one of the economic analysis done in the United States, it was found that $1 billion per annum can be saved by the US medical system if oral rehydration is implemented only for the diarrheal diseases. Now just think about other, other advantages of oral rehydration. Like, what if we actually use it to treat conditions like short bowel syndrome or burn patients? 